vaginal dryness is a sensation of discomfort and lack of lubrication that women can experience, particularly around the time of the menopause. It can vary from woman to woman. Sometimes it is cyclical, particularly in the years leading up to the menopause, and it may become particularly severe just before a period. But as she gets older, it can become more persistent and it can be present uh, throughout the month. She may simply experience a lack of lubrication, exactly as dryness would sound, but equally likely she may experience problems with burning, itching, irritation, discomfort on a day-to-day -day basis or with intercourse. The commonest cause is declining oestrogen levels in the perimenopause and menopause. Oestrogen is responsible for vaginal lubrication from the cervix and from the vaginal glands and once the levels start to drop it's a simple equation, the vaginal lubrication falls as well. I feel that categories of help break down into two sections. The first is hormonal and the second is non-hormonal and self-help. So if you look at the hormonal option first, that falls into either local oestrogen, so that's oestrogen given, as it says, into the vagina and surrounding tissues, Systemic oestrogen is oestrogen which goes into the body and then reaches the vagina separately. Both of those are excellent treatment options uh, for vaginal dryness and they address the core issue of the lack of oestrogen. There certainly is a lot that women can do and when I first see a woman complaining of this type of problem, there's a list of things I tell her to stop doing before we start anything else. So within this category there would be uh, looking at the items that she washes with, how she washes, does she use any other products in the vaginal area such as lubricants, deodorants, anything that might potentially cause irritation. She should always be very careful what she uses, check the label, use organic wherever possible and avoid anything that contains parabens, colourants and fragrances. I would always recommend on a daily basis that women shower rather than bathe. The odd bath is fine, but I wouldn't recommend it on a daily basis for hygienic cleaning. It's a myth that women need cleaning products in the vaginal area. The vaginal is self-cleansing, it's, it's naturally healthy, uh, and sometimes simple warm water is all that's required, for example, from a handheld shower within the shower itself. If women wish to use an additional product, then sometimes the simplest products are the best. Things like emulsifying ointment, anything with colloidal oatmeal or something like Diprobase, all of which are safe to use even with skin conditions like eczema, uh, are very gentle and perfectly uh, okay to use in the vulval area. I would generally recommend that women seek specialist advice, uh, perhaps from their GP initially, if the GP has any knowledge of women's health, but if not, then a gynaecologist, uh, particularly a menopause specialist. It's very important that women are uh, encouraged not to do anything that will make the situation worse, as well as seeking help.